Hello, very good morning. This is Breakfast with Dan Walker and Louise Minchin. Bill Neville. Yes, has been announced as the new England women's boss. He'll lead the Lionesses. Quarter final. What, what time is Kyle Edmund on tomorrow? About 8.30, so just as we're coming off air. Yeah, it's a beauty, isn't it? It's excellent. Well, it's a bit like a documentary, isn't it? Of describing it. Um, where he talks about in 2012, you women always want equality until you come to paying the bills. Um, and there's another sort of joke about... I think he, right, so he's with, with much of his twit, I mean, I'm, I'm not my job to defend him. But seeing um, the work to, to make sure people are safe. Thank you very much. And we'll, it does look beautiful. We'll be back with you a little bit later. We can see more as well. Thank you. Steph, this, this what is going on behind you is mesmerising. <laughs> You're going to have to explain. Morning. Uh, what Boris Johnson has been talking. He's talked, well, he mentioned, didn't he, a possible £100 million should be given to the NHS uh, post-Brexit. Um, Talks aimed at restoring the power-sharing executive in Northern Ireland are due to start later today. Stars of the small screen were on the red carpet last night for the annual National Television Awards. As a defence lawyer or barrister, you've got to trust that all that information is coming to you. And if you start to think, hold on a minute, is something being held back? Talked about the rape cases. What other type of cases? Much gammon love. You're not a gammon lover. Not really. Sorry. How do no. you feel about gammon and pineapple? Really not good. Oh, come on. I need to, <laughs> I need to cook it for you. <laughs> I hope you really enjoy the Commonwealth Games as well. Um, I know there's lots of experience as an 11-year-old, but enjoy that. And uh, we'll hopefully speak to you afterwards as well. All morning. Um, all I'm going to do is just hand across to Steph and yeah. to her little friends, the porcupine, the unicorn and the rabbit. Is what um, an, an, an inability to be able to give these drugs up, is that one of your main concerns? Thank you very much. And it's a really beautiful day there. Enjoy. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, coming up later in the programme... Really tasty, nice. with salt and pepper. You've never had warm pineapple. Barbecue it with a bit of cinnamon on top. Oh. oh. I love it. I used to love those things at parties with the cheese. Oh, yes, we, no, we like those too. Yeah. Oh, the old hedgehog. But as long yeah. as it's... Taking oh. us right back to the 80s now, aren't we? <laughs> I'm an 80s child. <laughs> Took herself out of the running. A lot mm. of the names that were banded about, the Arsenal manager, the Chelsea manager... Um, baby grand, yeah, We've you? got a little baby, baby grand. Oh. <laughs> oh thank you very much, Sonali. Thank you. Now, if you've ever heard of the stand-up Rod Gilbert on TV or radio... Well, uh, Rod Gilbert is here with us now. Lovely to see you. Are you all right? <laughs> You're all right. Yeah. Um, gosh, so... It's painful um, to watch, wasn't it? <laughs> Um, so what you tried to do in the documentary, oh, you're exploring your own experience and also yeah. helping other people, aren't you? Great you went into it eventually because so many people enjoy your stuff. I mean, we've seen you doing the, the Apprentice um, spin-off programme as well. Sitting watching us today who would definitely be feeling um, like you did and like you do. So what's your advice? Have you got any yeah. advice? I get very upset and anxious and lots of people saying the same sort of things about Stuart on Twitter, Bill on Twitter. Can't do it for a while. <laughs> oh, OK. It was just... We, we had five or six people come through the cottage in the end and every single one of them was just a joy. Congratulations on Thank Thank you so much. Thank you very much indeed. And the final book in the trilogy is called Still Me. In the meantime, have a <laughs> lovely day.